Recruiting class is incredible, and Steve Peichel's a major reason for that. And he's the head basketball coach at Rutgers, and he joins us here on the Michael K. Show. It's Don LaGreca, and I'm sure you're familiar with the work of Dan Grassa. Welcome to the show, Coach. <laughs> Hey, guys, I appreciate you having me on, and Dan, it's good to see you. Coach, always a pleasure, my friend, and congratulations on the big score, of course, with Dylan Harper and that recruiting class, and you know this. I mean, you and I have talked many times. For somebody who grew up as a fan of the program, went to school there, to see the college basketball national recruiting rankings, Duke, Kentucky, and Rutgers all in the same sentence there, I'll tell you, myself and a lot of alums, a lot of, a lot of pride in what you've been able to accomplish here. Well, I, I tell you what, it, it really is. A, it's a credit to this great, it's a great university. And uh, we're the 15th ranked public university in the country right now. So academically, there's no better place. And just great people here at the school. And we play in a terrific league, obviously. And selling out every game certainly helps in the recruiting process. And, you know, and I'm blessed to have great assistant coaches. But, um, you know, we got some talented players coming into the program and, like to think we have talented players right now in the program. So um, excited about this year and, and certainly excited about the future. Uh, mm -hmm. But it, all the credit goes to a great university with some, you know, great people uh, that surround our program. You know, and I, I live in the neighborhood, uh, Coach, so I, I know it's a, it's a great neighborhood. It's a great school. It's a great conference. There's a lot that you can sell when you're in somebody's living room recruiting an athlete. What, what are some of the other things that you sell them about Rutgers? Well, I tell you, you know, I have two kids currently that go. One is getting her master's uh, at Rutgers, and, and she's going to finish up here in a couple weeks. And my son is a senior here. So not, not only do I try to get their kids to come here, my own kids who could have went to a lot of places come here. And um, there's great people here, and there's a great energy on this campus. We have tremendous leadership for the president. Um, you know, Pat Hobbs, our great athletic director. So you got great leadership. Um, you know, I, I always say to people, if it was a stock, you need to buy it now because Rutgers is really doing unbelievable things in the academic world and, and, and sports. I mean, the job Coach Chiano has done, you know, with our football pl program playing in the pinstripe bowl and our wrestling program, you, you know, sells out. You know, Jersey Mike's Arena, our basketball teams, our soccer teams have been to Final Fours, our men's lacrosse team, Final Four last year. Um, just just really some great times here at the university and, and uh, just blessed to be a part of it and, and, and thankful that people come out and support us. And if you want to go see Rutgers play basketball, Saturday might be one of your better opportunities if you are in the area because Rutgers is going to be playing Mississippi State at the Prudential Center in Newark. So go to Ticketmaster to buy tickets for the Gotham Classic this weekend as Rutgers takes on Mississippi State at the Prue Center in Newark because this is your last chance to buy tickets to catch Rutgers for tickets not on the secondary market because all games are sold out at Jersey Mike's Arena this season. Go to SeatGeek, the official ticketing partner of Rutgers Athletics, to buy tickets for all remaining home games at Jersey Mike's Arena. I think it's a credit to you, Coach, the administration, the players, everybody involved with the program. And winning is also the help, what helps this, but the home court advantage that you have cultivated at Jersey Mike's Arena. It is a place that opposing teams don't want to play. It's one of the best atmospheres in college basketball. That's also something that you could sell to recruits because that is a home court advantage. I mean, it's really become an unbelievable the environment's fantastic and our students really show up and make it a loud environment and a tough place to play you know you know we got a lot to really brag about we've graduated every player since i've been here every kid has graduated a lot of them have gone on and got their master's degree and then you know caleb mcconnell's in the nba you know ron harper was with the toronto raptors um you know cliff will be next on that list he led the nation in dunks last year i think he's second right now in block shots and you know we continue to you know, graduate guys and, 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 and produce great, you know, pros and guys that go on and sign contracts to keep playing basketball. So there's a lot of advantages, you know, coming here and, and it's the biggest media market, right. as, as you guys know, in the country. And, and playing in this league challenges you, the Michigans, the Ohio States, the Purdue's, you know, every night. So you see some great, great basketball. And uh, I'm glad you mentioned the Prudential Center, because that is the last time, you know, you could see us play. You know, Jersey Mike's does not have a seat available. So hopefully our fans will get a chance, you know, before Christmas to come out. Mississippi State is excellent. Really good basketball team was ranked in the top 25 earlier in the year. They're 9-2 and two right now. So we, we need we need Rutgers Nation to show up uh, in Newark. Uh, Jamichael Davis has been such a great story for you. Tell us more about him. Uh, first of all, like a great family, a worker. 
you know, he's one of my old fashioned kind of, you know, he's in the gym all the time. He loves basketball. Um, he's the current, you know, leader in the country as freshman in assist to turnover ratio. So it's a great stat as a freshman to get a lot of assist and not turn the ball over and, and to do that in his first year has been really just amazing. But, you know, blue collar, tough kid, um, plays with a little chip on his shoulder, fast as could be. So I'm blessed he and Gavin Griffiths, two, two freshmen that we have that, you know, have really produced, you know, at a high level for young players. You mentioned Gavin Griffith's coach, and he was, you know, before this class for 2024, he was your highest rated recruit. And he's done a nice job here trying to get acclimated to the college game and to the Big Ten. What about his progress so far here, making that transition from high school to now Big Ten basketball? He's really done a really good job. He's learned a lot in his first, you know, 10 games. Um, he's improved his defense tremendously. You know, he's instant offense for us right now, you know, off the bench. He was starting earlier. Now we have Mawat Mag back, you know, in, in the lineup, which we're very thankful for. But Gavin's going to be a fantastic player. And he's another guy. He's in the gym all the time, comes from a great family, and uh, his best days are ahead of him. What are some of the things you like to see your team improve on as you go down the stretch of the season here? You know, we've really been harping on a, a few things like, you know, health is a big part of it and how they eat and how they sleep and all those kind of things um, plays a big role. I've been disappointed with our rebounding, quite honestly. You know, it hasn't been up to our standards. Um, it's been better lately. You know, obviously a guy like Mawat Mag, who's one of the better rebounders on our team, helps us now that he's healthy. Um, we're getting another big guy um, back playing very shortly here, Emmanuel Ogbo, who's um, seven feet. He's about 280 pounds. He'll help us, too, in that area. But, um, you know, we've had to really focus on that. We've got a lot of new pieces, too, so we're kind of figuring out you know, the rotation and, and those kind of things. But rebounding really has been a thing we've really harped on, and we got to do a better job of, of taking care of the backboards, and um, that'll go a long way, especially here in this Mississippi State game, too. Coach Steve Peichel of Rutgers joining us here on 98.7 ESPN. And, you know, you were nice enough to have me up there at practice and hang out in your office over the summer. And when we were talking about the team, you said you think or you thought that you guys were going to be better this year with the with the incoming players that you had. And there's a tremendous amount of transition now in college sports from one year to the next with the transfer portal, everybody moving around here. And it's taken some time, but. 11 games in, 10 games into the season. Where do you think you guys are now in terms of incorporating all the new faces into playing how you would like to play? Yeah, I mean, it, it, I think for everyone, it's a huge challenge. I mean, we're seven and three, and we had some games we didn't play as well as I would like. But I'm also learning that other teams are, you know, really good too, and they're old. You know, we played an Illinois team with a lot of, you know, veteran guys and, you know, we played a really good Princeton team to start the season, and I feel better 10 games later if we played them now. I think, you know, we would be in a lot better place, too. So it's always when you play teams and who you play at the time. But we learned a lot of lessons from the different games. We've shored up. We were turning the ball over a lot. Now we're, now we're not. I think our defense is getting better in a lot of areas. I think our offense is also starting to kick in a little bit. So, um, you know, it's, it's always a journey with the seasons. I like the journey. Everyone thinks you can go undefeated. I think there's only a couple teams in the country that are undefeated, but mm -hmm. there's a lot of teams like seven and three, and, and and like we are, have a chance to have a really good year and have a lot of season left to do that. Yo, Steve, I'm born and raised in New Jersey, so I've got a lot of pride in this state, and, and there's so much talk about you know Pennsylvania basketball and and what those those schools have done in, in the state of Pennsylvania, certainly New York, but you, you think of New Jersey, the way Seton Hall's playing now, St. Peter's runs a couple of years ago, what you guys have been able to accomplish. I mean, there's so much good basketball here in the state of New Jersey. I mean, it really is a really good coach. It's too fantastic. I mean, FDU makes a run last year in the, in, in the tournament. You know, St. Pete's the job that Shaw's doing at, at Seton Hall. And then you got great coaches at Monmouth and at Ryder and obviously Princeton. You know, they're good every year. They were Sweet 16 team last year. So you have a lot of really good coaches, a lot of really good rivalries. A lot of coaches come into our area and try to steal our, our recruits too. And, and uh, um, you know, college basketball, very healthy in New Jersey. And I'm thankful that Rutgers is a big part of that. And Seton Hall actually did you guys a favor last night, Coach. They had a great win upsetting UConn at the Prudential Center, but you beat Seton Hall a couple of weeks ago, so that only looks better for your resume moving forward with Seton Hall getting a big win like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, congratulations. They played great, and I think, you know, University of Connecticut is awesome. You know, I went to school there, and the job Danny Hurley's done there is 
fantastic. And, you know, but Shaw's team is good. They went to, you know, Missouri and won. Um, you know, I never get caught up in wins and quadrants and all that. There's there's so many analytics now, you know, like, you know, there's 14 different analytics. I get dizzy reading about them all. And, you know, you just got to win enough games and be NCAA worthy. And, you know, we, we won every metric last year that you can imagine. They picked one out that, they, you know, people didn't love, but there were 13 other great ones. You know, you got to be good enough to get in that tournament and, you know, all the rest of this is you, you don't know who's going to win or lose on a given night. You don't know how mm-hmm. you're going to be on a given night. You're still dealing with 18, 19, 20-year-old, you know, kids. So you try to get them ready for all the obstacles ahead and, um, you, you know, you do the best that you can with them and, and you're excited about the journey that the season usually takes you on. Real quick, Coach, I was just going to ask you, you know, you mentioned last season in the snub for the NCAA tournament, one of the teams that did get one of those first four spots in one of the final at large you're going to be playing on Saturday in Mississippi State. Is that a message you convey to your guys going into this game here on Saturday afternoon? I mean, you know, we don't talk really, to be honest, a lot about last year, different team, different, you know, circumstances. And, and uh, but we did talk about Mississippi State being very good and being a lock for the NCAA tournament this year. So, um, you know, they have some really good players and he, he does a fantastic job, you know, coaching. And, and so, you know, it'll be a real challenging game at a neutral site, you know, for us. Um, we wanted to be challenged in the, uh, you know, non-conference. And, and this team looks exactly like, you know, some of our teams in, in the Big Ten, big physical athletic basketball team. So this will help us as we prepare for, you know, league play. Well, Steve, good luck the rest of the way. And uh, we, we love having you. It's good to get to know you. And uh, go are you. Guys, I appreciate it. Nice you have me on. Happy holidays yeah, to you both. You too. Same to you, Coach. And get, get out to the Rock. Check that game out, man, because you can't get uh, get to the Rock. You're not going to be able to see him. So. That, and Don, that's the truth. I mean, there ain't a seat to be had, believe me. And uh, I'll be there Saturday. Looking forward to it here. So hopefully you get a nice win. 